Wait. Before you run off. This is very important. In this video, you will see a washing machine that may look different from yours. However, don't worry about the look. What to look for is if you have six cycle lights in a row under the control knob, like this. If you do, then this repair guide will work for you. This type of washer is called a vertical modular washer, VMW, for short, which is the most sold washer in America and is sold by many different brands such as Kenmore, Maytag, Roper, Amana, Whirlpool and many others. The best way to recognize these washers are by the lights on the panel. These washers have a built-in self-diagnosing system that can tell you exactly what's wrong with the machine. It should be noted, when the washer runs into an issue, it then stops itself, and blinks the lid lock light at you. Waiting for you to run the diagnostic mode. A blinking lid lock does not necessarily mean you have a bad lid lock. Entering and running the self-diagnosis is simple, and requires no tools or previous experience. It takes only 2-3 to three minutes. Before running the diagnostic mode, it is recommended to run the recalibration mode first, which is a similar process. Our videos will provide you with the proper step-by-step -step tutorial, start with the recalibration mode. If that doesn't solve your issue, you can proceed to the diagnostic mode to pull the error codes which will point out the parts your washer needs. Then all that's left is buying the correct part and installing it. Entering recalibration mode. With the washer shut off and the basket empty, no water or clothes inside, and with the lid shut, enter the recalibration cycle. Here's how. Turn the control dial 1 complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise. Stopping with it facing straight up. Quickly, within about 6 seconds, turn the control dial 3 clicks clockwise, 1 click back, and 1 click more clockwise. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, Try again, this time turning the knob faster or slower. In the diagnostic mode, with all lights flashing, select the calibration cycle by turning the control dial 4 clicks clockwise or, 4 clicks right. When you're on correct setting the rinse light turns on, then you simply press start. And then it begins the calibration cycle, which runs for 2 to 3 minutes as it checks all the cycles and functions on your machine. When the calibration cycle ends, if all goes well, the lid unlocks and the washer shuts off. Now try your washer to see if that solved your issues if not, continue to the error code video. If after 20 tries or more, and your arm feels like it's gonna fall off from trying so much, then odds are you have a bad control board. If your washer starts the recalibration but doesn't finish it, you need to pull the error codes and find out why. Step 1. With the washer shut off and all indicator lights off, turn the control dial 1 complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise, stopping with the dial pointing straight up. Now quickly, within about 6 seconds, turn the control dial 3 clicks clockwise, 1 click back, and 1 more click clockwise. Or, in other words, turn the control 3 clicks right, 1 click left, then 1 click right. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, try again and maybe try turning the knob a little faster, or slower. Okay, congratulations, now your washer is in diagnostic mode, now. We need to retrieve the codes, follow these steps to display the error code lights. Step 2, turn the control dial 1 click clockwise then, press the start button. Now you are reading the error codes. The control displays up to 4 error codes. Step 3, read the error codes. Error codes for the VMW washers have two parts. The first is the letter F, followed by a number, and the second is the letter E, followed by a number as well. Which lights are illuminated indicate the numbers. The sensing light on indicates, the letter F. The sensing light off, indicates E. For error code F5E3, when the sensing light is on, the rinse and the cycle complete lights are on. Adding all three together equals 5. This means the first part of the code is, F5. Then, on the other flash of lights, the sensing light is off, but the spin and the cycle complete lights are on. Adding them together makes 3. The second part of the code would be E3. That's one code. The same error code flashes repeatedly until you turn the dial one click clockwise, to show the next error code. Turn the dial again and see if you have any other codes, if there is no more codes then you're done. To exit diagnostic mode, turn the washer off. Now, you have your error code, use these images in this video, to look up your error codes, look in your washer repair manual, or, just google top load washer error code and enter the code, and it should come up no problem. Now you know the problem and what's causing your washer to not work. Now it's time to find the parts needed fast and cheap. 
Watch our next video for the quick tutorial on how to do this. So you've got a Whirlpool washing machine and you've just installed a new component or maybe you just feel like your washing machine isn't running its best. It's important to know how to reset and recalibrate the machine. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that together with three types of resets so at least one of them will work. Note that these steps will work for all washing machines that have these oval LED segments just below the washer dial and that includes Whirlpool, Maytag, Kenmore, Roper, Amana, Admiral, and Crossley brand washers. We can do the first two resets in sequence. So first, rotate your washer's control dial counterclockwise until it's at the north or 12 o'clock position. Once that's done, unplug the washing machine from the wall and with the unit unplugged, wait about a minute before you plug the power cord back in. You should hear a faint clicking noise from the back of the washer relay as it boots up. This is the first type of reset which should restore your washing machine to all default modes and settings or at least it should accomplish that. Now that we've done the first reset, let's go ahead and attempt to recalibrate this washing machine through the calibration mode. This is a must do if you've installed any new parts on the washing machine from a board to a balancing rod. With the washing machine freshly rebooted, you want to rotate the dial again counterclockwise 360 degrees. Then you'll turn the knob right three clicks, left once, then right once again. It should be pointed at this point at 3 o'clock or all the way to the right position. You need to do all these things within 3 seconds. And it may take a few attempts, but if you've done this right, all the lights at the bottom of the washing machine control should flash on and off, showing that you've entered into the diagnostic mode. Once you're in this mode, you want to turn the knob clockwise 4 times. The rinse light should be the only one on illuminated solidly by itself. This is the recalibration mode. Once you press the start button here on the rinse mode, the door lid will lock and it will begin a series of tests and operations on your washing machine. Now all these tests take approximately three minutes to run all the way through. As the recalibration mode runs, every part and process on this washing machine is going to be ran and the machine will physically reset all the components to a default state, allowing them to run at an optimal level. This is a must have when parts aren't working right or the machine just doesn't know what state the washing machine is actually in, like you've replaced the shift actuator or even a control board. During this time, you're going to hear all kinds of noises from the machine, and that's going to be totally normal during the approximate three minutes. Now, when the calibration mode is at the end, every single light is going to turn off, including the lid lock light, and the machine is now ready and recalibrated for use at an optimal level. Now let's try one more reset technique before the video is over. First, you'll need to unplug the washing machine and let it sit for about one minute to drain any capacitors or memory, just like we did the first time. Then you'll plug the washing machine back in. Let it sit for a few moments. Then you'll want to open and close the lid six times in under 12 seconds. This works on some, but not all models, and it will issue a reset command to the washing machine to clear any issues with the unit beyond what the reboot or reset mode did with it unplugged. Now some other notes with this washer, there are many other modes and commands available on this style washing machine, and if you want to learn more, please make sure to click on the videos at this end screen to learn more about those hidden commands and features to make you a professional on this kind of washing machine. Have a great day.